Hello again and welcome to yet another Thursday Thoughts, way, way back in uh, lockdown version one. Can you remember that? It was a time before video. I talked about getting our, our minds and thoughts right and talking about what we put in was, was important. I was reminded of that again this week with the words of, uh, of Paul to the Philippian church in Philippians 4.8 where it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of respect, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if something is excellent or praiseworthy, think of these things. And in a time when uh, there is so much negative and scary around us, it's good to be reminded that the Bible calls us to fill our mind with things that build, not things that tear down. And, and that's the approach I want us as a church to be taking over the next few months as we start to work to coming back together. Next Thursday, we have uh, another leadership team meeting, after which I will be outlining steps we, we hope we hope we can take as we move forward. It, it is clear, it is clear that everything will not be normal, but there are some things I think we can start to do to engage with each other, to uh, rebuild real fellowship rather than virtual fellowship and to rebuild real corporate prayer, which I think is an absolute key to us going forward rather than virtual prayer, which I think many of us have found very difficult, myself included. Uh, we may, in the summer, even be able to rebuild tentative steps to real worship together. Wouldn't that be great? I said last week we ought to, to take the opportunity to look at how we do and are church. And we ought to work out what it is that we, we do which is good and of God and make working at that and working towards that our priority. As we work together through this Lent season, this season of Lent, preparing for that, that wonderful, magnificent, crucial, vital celebration that is Easter. Uh, I said, that's what I wanted you to be prayerful about, that rebuilding of church and how we do it and what is of God. There is one other thing, particularly this month, I would encourage you to be prayerful about. You, you know, because we've said it many times, we've said it uh, over, over this, this last six months that um, that come the 31st of March we will lose the the wonderful presence that is Nigel and Ruth and Liz from our church leadership teams and they have been a vital part of our leadership through this pandemic I want to thank them for that first and foremost they've been amazing servants of God's church both before the pandemic but particularly through it even despite their own major challenges of health and bereavement and personal difficulty. But it's right, as we did with James and Sue, to say, well done, good and faithful servants, and allow them to step back, and in stepping back, find the new things God has for them. That leaves us with no designated treasurer, no designated secretary, and only one elder on the team. We have until the notice goes out for an AGM to receive nominations for that leadership team. And the latest that, that, that AGM notification can go out is the 31st of March. So that's, that's where we're at as a church leadership, as a church, because the leadership is part of the church. At the moment, we will have Ian, Stuart, Steve and Sarah, who will be uh, left with myself to run the church, both spiritually and administratively. That means taking on the roles of treasurer and secretary between us, as well as covering children's and youth and outreach and ministry and pastoral and worship and teaching and fabric and all the legal things that we have to do as well. So again, please be prayerful. Ask God what it is that he wants you to play a role in as we start to reconvene as church. You know, I really do believe this is an exciting time. I really do believe that. We have to treat the time that we've had apart in exile as a time that is an exile that will build the church as it did Israel. Not an exile that has torn the church apart. So we have to have that attitude of Philippians. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of respect, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever, is commendable whatever if something is excellent or praiseworthy think about these things 
building back with the right focus is is actually more important to our Father God than building back with the right theology or doctrine or programs. Probably, dare I say it, more important than actually what we do when we get back together. So pray. See if you have a part in that rebuilding, whatever that part may be. There's something this week in the new sheet from me as well, just focusing our thoughts on that. I said I'd say a few words about Easter. More will follow next week. For the next year, we'll be looking to be part of a project called 123 Go. And this seeks to empower and encourage and equip folk within local churches to be able to share their life and the story of Jesus in their lives. Isn't that a fantastic aim? So that in new ways at Easter 2022, we will be sharing of ourselves in new practical ways, in new verbal ways, in witness within the church, we'll be sharing of ourselves with other people. Its, it's tagline is, it's one message, two by two, over three days, Easter 2022. We're gonna start our journey into that with an Emmaus walk experience this Easter. You know, we can't gather, that's clear. But we can meet up for a walk two by two. We can lift the phone to another person and connect with one other person two by two and we can visit a person on a doorstep two by two so next week uh, will be a, a paper that's going to be circulated to everyone connected with the church asking you to take some time out during holy week that's sunday the 28th of march which is palm sunday to good friday friday the 2nd of april to meet up with somebody on a walk or, if, or on the phone, have a virtual walk, or, or go and, and stand on the doorstep of somebody and have a chat with them, one other person. That's what we, we, we believe God wants us to do. Connect with one other person during that Holy Week. To spend time talking about your experiences of the last 12 months. But not just to do that, but then to, to pause. To take time to pause, to perhaps stop, and, and take time to read a passage of scripture which will be provided to pray for each other and for the church and for the communities that you belong to and crucially to take communion which will be distributed we'll have those little cups which will distribute to anybody who wants to take part in this and most importantly most importantly of all to listen to listen to god and then to let myself or steve Know what it is that God has said to you or you have experienced during that, uh, during that Emmaus walk experience, whether it's, it's on the phone or it's, it's literal. And you can do that. You can let us know verbally. Uh, you can pick up the phone and call one of us. You can let us know by video while you're out on your walk. Wouldn't that be cool to see places people have been walking together? Uh, by video recorded later when you're home, if you don't feel, you know, maybe it's raining and you don't want to get your phone out. That's fine. That's fine. Record a video later. You can send us a text just telling us what it is you've experienced. You can send us an email. You can even send us a carrier pigeon, provided it reaches us by Saturday afternoon. That's the cutoff time. We need to have everything together by Saturday afternoon so we can put it together for the Sunday service. We can do this no matter what age we are. We can do this no matter what our technological uh, ability. We can, we can do, do this no matter what our feelings are about meeting others. We can do it in a safe way. So I really, really, really hope that you will join with all of us that do it. I hope you will be part of a, of a church that takes communion, that, that fellowships, that prays and that hears from God together and yet apart. Let's finish with those words from Philippians again. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of respect, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if something is excellent or praiseworthy think about these things fill your mind with these things amen
Let's be a weapon that silences the enemy Let praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety Oh, let it rise Let praise arise We sing your name in the dark and it changes everything We sing with all we are and we claim your victory Oh, let it rise, let praise arise We'll see you break down every wall We'll watch the giants fall Fear cannot survive when we praise you The God of breakthroughs on our side Forever lift him high For all creation cries This is what living 
Giants fall.